Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! In this video we are going to make such wonderful toppers for Easter cookies. I will also show you two ways to create stained glass on cookies and tell you about possible mistakes. Like and subscribe, enjoy watching! I had already baked the cookies in advance and now I am going to cover them with white icing. I make a counter on the cookie with icing in the piping consistency and then pour the icing in the 15 second consistency. And I leave the cookies until the icing is completely dry. You can see more details about icing, textures and methods of pouring cookies on my channel. Check out the link to the playlist in my description. Also, in the description there is a link where you can see some images on how you can make stencils for such cookies. On the cookie I shape the borders of the stained glass and draw the stained glass within these borders. Then I draw the borders of the stained glass with page icing in the consistency as four inscriptions. This is a thick icing, but I don't recommend using icings of this consistency because it's too thick. I used it because I had already prepared before, so I decided that it would fit. It's better to use icing in a piping consistency because it's more elastic and softer. Later in the video I'll explain why. If lines from the shape remain visible, you can easily remove it with a wet brush after the borders are completely dry. Next, we make a mixture for stained glass. To do this, we need glucose syrup and vodka. They need to be mixed in proportions of 1 to 1. I add 2 tablespoons of syrup and 2 tablespoons of vodka. I use regular vodka, no extra flowers. Mix thoroughly until it is smooth. The consistency should neither be thick nor runny. It should be slightly viscous, similar to that of cold vegetable oil, even a little bit thicker. For the first method you need a palette or plate. In the cells of palette I pour a little mixture. The number of cells depends on the number of colors you intend to use in the stained glass. I have 7 colors. I add dye to each cell with the mixture and stir until the color is uniform. My colors are yellow, orange, pink, red, green, blue and lilac. The lilac turned out to be very dark, almost black, so I diluted it with the mixture in the next cell and got the desired color. Next, use the brush to pick up a little mixture and put it on the cookie. We distribute the color in the cell of the stained glass so that the cell is completely filled with the mixture and colors. But here it is important not to overdo it with the amount of the mixture, so that it doesn't overflow through the boundaries of the cell. You need to do it carefully and slowly. I use a number one soft bristled brush. I distribute the colors on the stained glass in random order. Here you can put the colors in any order as you desire. I believe you might have questions about using vodka, so after the icing dries, all the alcohol will evaporate and there will be absolutely no alcohol left on the cookie.
If you make cookies with my videos, tag me please on Instagram. I will be very grateful. As you can see on the cookie, in some places the mixture got mixed. It turned out not to be neat. This can happen if you put too much mixture in the cell and it will overflow into the next cell. Or if you are in a rush and not careful. Or, as in my case, the icing is thick and the lines are not tight on the cookie and there are openings through which the mixture goes into neighboring cells. Therefore, I recommend taking a mixture of a softer and more elastic consistency to create designs. Next, let's look at the second method. Here, first we color the stained glass cells with Dyes. Dyes can be diluted with water or vodka. Then we cover the stained glass with a transparent mixture, which we previously prepared. It is better to let the dyes dry completely, so that the color doesn't touch the brush when covering. This method is clearly faster and easier than the first one. In the second case, the color also came through the gaps, despite the different way of pouring the stained glass. Let's allow the cookies to dry. I left them on the ledge of the window above the battery for a day, and they were completely dry. After drying, the mixture is not sticky, it is glossy and smooth. It looks like glass, just like it should. In comparison, I like the stained glass created in the first method better, because in my opinion, these cookies look much prettier and more interesting. Next, we cover the contours of the stained glass with contouring. To do this, you need to dilute the contouring powder with alcohol, gently paint with a thin brush so as not to touch the cells. The borders of the stained glass can be made with black icings in which it isn't necessary to cover with contouring. It also looks very impressive. These are cookies I got. I really like them. Of course, you can bake cookies of any size and any shape. Use your imagination and don't be afraid to experiment. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Subscribe to my channel, there are lots of interesting things ahead. All the best to you!